Sierra's Innovator Application Digital Twin Core creates and manages individual physical part structures to create a digital record for any physical part operating in the field. This can include every change to the part as it evolves throughout its lifetime. In a forthcoming release, Digital Twin Core introduces Life Control, a feature which includes life parameters, life policies, and part policies. Together, these life controls will help companies to track the operational life of each individual digital twin in the field. Let's see how this works. Life parameters are variables that keep track of how long the part has been operating for. These can include cycles, distance, revolutions, repetitions like landings when you're tracking an aircraft, hours or calendar dates. You get the idea. One such life parameter, cycles since new, cannot be reset. It measures from the beginning of the part's operational life, like the odometer in your car. Another, cycle since repair, can be reset to begin at the repair event and measure when the next repair is due, the way a trip odometer in your car works. Still another one, shelf life, can flag you when a part is beyond its use or sell-by date and must be withdrawn from service. Shelf life recertification is another parameter, which addresses the needs of adhesives or solvents in inventory to be used beyond a hard expiration date. Another one, maximum hard cycles, indicates the operational limit of a part. And finally, periodic inspection indicates the date for part inspection, whether it's in inventory or installed on an assembly. There are a number of different life parameters included standard with the Digital Twin Core application. And as always, administrators can build their own in Aris Innovator. When many life parameters need to be applied to a part or parts, they are first grouped together into a single life policy. When applied to many parts, life policies help to standardize how all of the parts are tracked and measured. When a life policy is applied to an engineering part, it is known as a part policy. A part policy is, in effect, a plan or a blueprint for how the part should be monitored and tracked. When the engineering part is used to create the physical part, that is, a digital twin in Eris, the physical part inherits the part policy and all of its associated life parameters. This creates a digital container in the physical part where the real-world values are recorded. These real-world values are known as current life values, and they track the age in those original life parameters of the part on hand. These are the current up-to-date values for the life parameters as they have been tracked against the part in the field. When an event impacts a life parameter, like a repair that sets the values back to zero, those values are retained in the life history log, which is planned for a future release. Child parts have their own life parameters recorded independently of their parent parts. This can reflect different use cases, like when the child part is removed from the parent part and repaired, or if it was refurbished and installed in a new parent part. Using life controls, many different types of life data can be collected and logged throughout the operational lifespan of any physical product using the Eris Digital Twin Core application.